Welcome back to Mash Paddle Brewing Supplies channel. Today we're going to brew a really simple New Zealand Pilsner. It's an extract kit. We're going to be using Mangrove Jack's New Zealand Brewer Series Pilsner Liquid Malt Extract. Plus we're going to add 1.2 kilos of light liquid malt extract. And that's it. Nice and simple. <music> For this one, all you're going to need is pills and malt and the light liquid malt. What we're going to do is heat these malt extracts in their pouch by sticking it into a pot of boiling water. So you're going to need a pot and you're going to need five litres of boiling water. To start with, grab a pot, fill it with about five litres of water and then bring him to the boil. Okay, so that's coming to the boil now. So all you need to do is grab your pouches and just stick it straight into the water. Now I realise my pot may not hold them all. A bit of an issue. So we'll just do those two for now, which is the main malt and one of the 600 ml white mold extract. We'll just turn that down so it doesn't boil over. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave this in here for about 10 minutes. The reason why we're doing this is just to help soften up that mold so it's just easy to pour when we put it into the fermenter. You can just rip these straight open and pour them straight in, but you'll find a lot of mold will get left behind and stuck in there. And you wanna get as much of the mold as possible. While we're waiting for our malt, our pouches to soften it and heat up, I'll give you a bit of a rundown as to why we're using the malt extract for this particular brew. You can always use a kilo of dextrose or a kilo of dry light malt extract, but we're using a liquid malt extract just to help give it a, a bit more body, uh, a bit more flavor. Uh, it should help get the ABV for this beer up to around 4.4%, which is Pretty ideal for a pilsner. Um, Hop-wise, I'm not exactly sure what hop extract that they've used in this already. Being a pilsner, I would imagine it's SARS, but being a New Zealand pilsner, they could be using a New Zealand hop as well. So we'll find out when it comes to tasting exactly what it might be. Okay, so with the magic of editing, we now have our beer in the fermenter, so our malt pouches plus 20 litres of chilled water. Uh, what we're now going to do is take a gravity reading and then we will pitch the yeast that comes in with this kit. Now it's only seven grams of yeast. It just has the beautiful bee yeast. So I'm not exactly sure what it will be being a Pilsner, probably some sort of a lager yeast, I would imagine. So we have our gravity reading. Now the reading is a little bit higher than I was expecting. It's actually coming at 1060, 1.060. Now the box has a suggestion that the final gravity, so once the yeast has done its work and you're about to, to bottling, of being 1.006. So by that calculation, that means that this is going to be a 7% Pilsner, which is a lot higher than what you would expect. So I've either accidentally made an Imperial Pilsner or maybe the yeast won't chew up as much of the sugars and so the final gravity will be a little bit higher. I imagine that's probably going to be the case. The final gravity will probably sit somewhere around 10, 12, 10, 16 is what I'm thinking, um, which will then sort of bring it back down to a much more enjoyable drinking beer. But we'll find out in a couple of weeks, I guess. So the yeast is pitched we're now going to pop him into the garage to ferment over the next couple of weeks. And that's it. Brew day is done. As I said, this is a really simple beer to put down. The whole process has taken half hour at most. So if you're a little time poor, grab one of these kits. Perfect way to have a quick, simple beer that's going to be ready to, to drink a nice, hopefully light, Pilsner, hopefully it doesn't come in at 7% as the hydrometer reading has said, but tune into the channel in a few weeks time to see the tasting video and we'll see how it turns out. Mm -hmm.